In this AutoCAD tutorial video, I would like to go over the basics of how you use the rectangular array command. Uh, it's actually quite simple and it's something that used to be a little bit more complicated in AutoCAD, but it's gotten um, pretty intuitive. So here I have a 5 foot by 5 foot square, uh, just like we used in the last video. So what I might want to do now is actually create a whole series, like a grid or something like that. So I could, you know, of course, say copy, copy this one, pick a base point and say I want it to be at any specific distance, for example, seven feet this way, and I could go, you know, seven feet this way and so on and actually create a series of copies. Uh, but that would take quite a while, especially if you wanted to do a large grid of some sort. So array is really a handy tool. So I'll pick array here from the modify panel and notice there's a few different options In this one I'm just going to be picking rectangular and then I will select my square. Once I've selected it, just like pretty much everything else in the modify tab, you just hit enter. And now it's going to bring open this array creation uh, contextual menu here. You see it's green so it's a little bit different than most of the menus in CAD. So once you have this open, you need to make some adjustments and then actually, you know, hit enter or close this uh, because it's going to be keeping you in this um, menu. So right now, if you take a look here, I have four columns and three rows. So I have four columns of my object of the square I created and then three rows. CAD makes this really easy. So if I, I wanted to change this, I could say that I in fact want seven columns and once I click outside of that, it will actually add them and I could, you know, remove and say I just want two rows or I could change my mind and say I want to do seven by seven and then you can change the distance in between. So right now I have seven feet six inches in both directions. What does that really mean? Well, remember that my square was five feet. So if I actually change that to say something like, oh, I want two feet in between, you can't just say two feet here. If you'll do that, you'll see that they're all kind of piling on top of each other. You have to take the object size into account. So if I want them to be two feet apart, I have to do the five foot plus two and say seven feet. And I can do that in either direction. And this is giving us that nice gap in between. If I wanted them to be touching, I could just say five feet by five feet. And they're exactly right on top of each other. Okay. Once I'm happy with what I'm working on, or at least I think I am, I can just hit enter and I will have my array here. Okay, so this is all one um, object. It's an arrayed object. Okay, so if I click on it, you'll see that it doesn't just pick one of those squares, it picks them all. And you'll see that it has grippers here from these, uh, like this base point moving out, for example. So we have some options. Now I could just come in and simply edit the number of rows or spaces in between. You can always come in and do that. We could also not only say, you know, how many, but what is the total distance? You know, perhaps I don't know the math in between, but I know I only want this to be 60 feet by 60 feet. There CAD did the math for me, so I didn't have to figure out what the space in between would be. Or I can actually go in and do some edits while this is active. So let's say I wanted to make an edit to these arrayed objects. I can say, edit source and when I do that I can go in pick my object and say do I want to edit it yes then I could go in and do something like maybe put in a line once I do that now everything in the array will have that line going through it I can either save those changes or discard them so maybe I'll save them and you'll see that now my array has completely updated, so that really saves a lot of work. If I wanted to, for example, go in and replace an item, you'll see that that's an option too. So I'm just going to hit Escape, and I'll give myself a little circle off to the side. 
maybe I'll say it's a 24 inch radius, so I have this circle here, so I could come into the array, then I could come up to options and say replace item, and then if I look at my command line, it will say select replacement objects, select the base point, and then select an item that you want to replace. So perhaps I want to replace this one, and this one, and this one. So you could see you know, how handy this could actually be. Once you're done, you can just hit enter. Okay. So the array function is actually really, really handy. We could also, of course, go in and say reset, and it will get rid of those replacement changes that I made. So that's really the, the basics of how the array works. Once you have the object, you don't have to have the math down um, initially because you can go in and change things like the columns, the rows, the space in between, the total space. Um, we can also have levels that are stacking and uh, you know things like that. So it's a very, very handy tool.